Hi, I'm with Casey. He is a senior wastewater operator with the Lake Stephen Sewer District. And today he is taking us on a virtual tour of the wastewater treatment plant. Hello, Casey. Hi, good afternoon. Thought I'd give you a little quick rundown on how the treatment process works and what happens when you flush your toilet. Great, look forward to that. Domestic wastewater, it's 99.99% .99 water and very little solids, just a few hundredths of one percent. It's gray in color and has almost no odor when it's properly transported. In other words, when it gets down to the plant quickly, it doesn't spend a long time out running around getting stinky. Initially, when it comes into the plant, we do some screening. We have these large van screens which have panels which go down into the flow and take the trash out. The plant doesn't want trash. The plant wants human waste, basically carbon-based food. That's what we're processing. We're trying to get the solids back out of the water. We screen and we take out all debris, plastics, wipes, trash, two by four, small mammals, birds, twigs, rocks, anything that's not wastewater we want to take out of the process so it doesn't damage my processing equipment and take up valuable space in the, in the process tanks. We move along here, we can see what comes out of the process. We do that screening. This is a beautiful plant, Casey. We take great pride in it. So where am I at right now, Casey? This is the headwork screening area. This is where all the rubbish that we pull out of the, uh, the flow, the influent flow, ends up. We've got, uh, I can show you some of the rags that come out. That's where your flushable wipes might end up and some plastics. We pull that out of the process because the bugs can't use that. The bugs that do my work for me, they need to have clean wastewater to work with. How many bags a day do you fill, Casey? About a bag. Sometimes if the rain's heavy and we get a good push, maybe a couple of a couple of 30-gallon trash bags. Uh, those are 55-gallon bags, so it leaves us a little bit of room to uh, tie the bag shut. You take a quick peek at the grit. Don't take a deep breath, but this is the rock material that also comes out of the sludge because we don't want that in there either. It's anything inorganic, basically, is the grit. So we got grit and rags coming out of the process post haste. Then the rest of the flow moves on into the plant. The plant is eight years old, and uh, I had a, a constituent from the public say the other day that uh, he drives by here pretty regularly, and he thought the plant was only a couple of years old. He said it looks brand new. It does look great. You do a very good job, you and your, your crew, taking care of it. We're all very devoted. We enjoy our spring cleaning. Things get a little wet and moldy around the winter and then we get back to it. Let's go up here and take a look at the primary clarifiers. From there, we, we, we have basically clean wastewater with no trash in it, but it's still loaded with bacteria and carbon and uh, dissolved and suspended solids. So we take the wastewater that runs at about two to three feet per second in the collection system and we slow it down to one foot per second or less. We put it into this big tank called the primary clarifier. Primary clarifier is where gravity becomes our friend. We put the wastewater in here, we slow it down, we give it a quiescent place and everything that can settle will settle through gravity. It's deep at this end and narrow at the other end, like a wedgie-shaped shoe. All the solids collect on the deep end, and there's long, basically they look like planks running on a chain across the top of the clarifier water, very, very slowly, and then across the bottom towards me, bringing the sludge back on the bottom and taking the floatables to the other end for collection and disposal. So we collect all that primary sludge, and we pump that, gravity thickener over yonder. It's thickened up. We take a little more water out of it. And we send it to the digesters for further processing. So that's a load that the plant never sees. We take that out immediately. Um, along the way, it does get degritted. That's the grit you saw there. It goes into the 
gravity thickener and ends up in the digesters. Hey Casey, let's go to part two.